2 Kings chapter 4 from verse 1 to 7 2 Kings 4 from verse 1 to 7 the Bible tells us of a woman who was bankrupt so heavily indebted they wanted to sell her sons the Bible says she cried she didn't whisper she cried to the God of Elisha by the special grace of God not only was her debt paid she never had to borrow again I had the testimony of one of my sisters one of my daughters here who said she was heavily in debt there was no way she could pay but the creditors cancelled the debt it's similar to the testimony of one of my sons he was so heavily in debt that the creditors called him he was almost 50 years of age they asked him how are you going to pay our money he said even if I'm paying you a million naira a day for all the days that I have lived on earth I can't pay this debt and they looked at him and said debt forgive, forgotten and forgiven there is still a God who can put an end to all your hardship in a day I want you to stand on your feet lift your voice to the most high God and say Father everything that will not allow me to become what you want me to become let the ground swallow them up open your mouth and cry to the almighty God everything sickness disease demons everything that will not allow me to become what you plan for me to become let the ground open its mouth and swallow them swallow them swallow them all sicknesses all diseases all reproaches everything causing me shame everything that will not allow me to reach my goal Almighty God let the ground open now and swallow them all everything in my life that is causing people to say where is your God this morning this morning right here Lord let the ground open its mouth and swallow them swallow them all every one of them everything including those I don't even know every force walking against my destiny let the ground open his mouth and swallow them up Lord this morning let all my problems disappear into the ground right now as I pray this very moment let the ground swallow them all demonic influence walking against me Lord God Almighty let the ground open his mouth and swallow them all every one of them
join to father in jesus mighty name we have prayed so shall it be in jesus name please be seated the next great prayer is found in joshua chapter 10 verse 10 to 12 Joshua chapter 10 verse 10 to 12 nobody had prayed that kind of prayer before but then Joshua lifted up his eyes to heaven and he said "Ah, some of my enemies are about to escape son stay where you are moon stay where you are until my victory is complete <laughs> you know in Mark chapter 10 verse 46 to 52 Mark 10 46 to 52 the Bible said there was a blind man called Bartimaeus he was sitting down in darkness in poverty in shame he had enemies that he didn't even know it was a reproach to the city and then he had that Jesus was passing by and he cried until Jesus heard and the Bible said Jesus stood still now you may not understand Jesus stood still but when you read Acts chapter 17 verse 28 Acts 17 verse 28 the Bible says in him we live in him we move in him we have our being put that in simple language the entire universe revolves around the Lord Jesus Christ so when Jesus stood still, the universe stood still. When he stood still, the sun cannot go on to set. The moon cannot come out. When Jesus stood still, the universe stood still. What, are, what is the implication of this? see God has a timetable for everything Ecclesiastes chapter 3 from verse 1 to 8 Ecclesiastes 3 1 to 8 it tells us clearly God has a time for everything everything but then in Daniel chapter 2 verse 2 20 to 22 Daniel 2 20 to 22 the Bible says this God because he's omnipotent, because he's sovereign, because he does as he pleases, he can change times and seasons. <laughs> In Matthew 15, from verse 21 to 28, Matthew 15, 21 to 28, the Bible tells us that a woman came to Jesus Christ and said please help me my daughter is grievously vexed of the devil he said I'm in trouble because my daughter is in trouble Jesus Christ told her it's not the time for for heathens like you it's the time for the Gentiles hasn't come <laughs> the woman said the time hasn't come. Man. My own time will come today. So I'm not going anywhere until you answer me. Hi, precious beloved. God bless you. Welcome to RCCG NCP TV, the platform where Jesus makes himself made manifest. And by the mouth of our Father and the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, as he brings to us insights, teachings that will help transform our life, that will help shaping our belief system, 
that will also help put us in the perfect way of the Lord, that as we go, we will not depart from it. This platform is set up so as to bring renewal of strength, so as to bring edification, so as to revive our hearts and also prepare uh, our life to be lived here on earth and also eternity in view. Do well to follow our teachings, to follow Father and the Lord by subscribing to this channel and by hitting the notification bell so as to stay in touch with every of our uploads. We would like you to stay connected to this mandate and to this vision, ensuring that everyone around you gets a better part of what Jesus is doing in this season and in every territory, cutting across the continents of the world. And from wherever you are watching from, you can become a partaker by liking this video, by also dropping a comment, and by also sharing this video to your loved ones, to family, and friends, so that they too can be blessed. Because God is not yet done with you, He's still in the business of changing lives, He's still in the business of doing wonders, He's still in the business of touching lives, He's still in the business of ensuring that things get better for everyone. God bless you so much. We love you.